Have you ever thought about how much energy there is underground? Enough to boil underground water until it erupts, forcing steam and water high into the air. It doesn't just look spectacular, it's a great source of usable energy. Geothermal energy. Geo means earth and thermal means heat. So geothermal energy is generating energy from the earth's heat and is a great source of renewable energy. So how does it work? Deep below the surface of the earth is the earth's mantle, a layer of hot molten metal. Heat from the mantle rises up through the earth's crust. Where the crust is thinnest, this heat gets much closer to the surface. In some places, it heats up water in underground lakes and reservoirs. Geothermal energy plants use this hot water to generate electricity. Pipes are drilled down to these water stores. The water is so hot that it produces steam, which rises up through the pipes and is used to turn the blades of turbines. The turbines drive generators that generate electricity to power homes and businesses. The best bit is, that after the steam has powered the turbines, it can be cooled until it condenses back into water and then pumped back down to be reused and heated again. In some volcanic regions like Iceland, geothermal energy is so close to the surface and easy to tap into that the heat is used for other things than generating electricity. In Iceland's capital Reykjavik, some of the geothermal energy provides hot water that runs in pipes underneath some roads, pavements and car parks. As well as making pedestrians feel warm in freezing winter temperatures, this melts snow and keeps roadways clear, something we could use over here in Scotland. Amazingly, Iceland gets more than a quarter of its electricity generation from geothermal sources. A really important thing about geothermal energy in terms of its renewable uh, capabilities is it's available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So the Earth's heat is there and it's available all the time. And that's a contrast to wind power, which is obviously not there if the wind doesn't blow. And if in solar power, another big renewable source, clearly that doesn't work very well at night when the sun isn't shining. Generally, geothermal power plants are available about 90 odd percent of the time. And that's even higher than most uh, fossil fuel power plants, which would operate for about 75% of the time. So, what's the catch? Geothermal energy is limited to only a few places around the world that are volcanically active. These include places on the Ring of Fire, like the west of the USA, Indonesia, New Zealand and Japan. On top of this, it is expensive to build these plants in the first place. Also, when building these plants, the digging to get to the geothermal energy releases greenhouse gases. While they're nowhere near as bad as fossil fuels, the gases still count. How would you like to live in a city where it's warm in the freezing depths of winter? Thanks for watching. Please share, like and subscribe.